morning, viewers. Once again, welcome to the production of this service channel. I thank you for your comment for the last production made. I'm very happy for your contributions and also for your encouragement. Many have been giving uh, positive comments about the last production. I thank you so much. We are still in a free energy generator. How free energy generator work? And today we're going to discuss about a very important generator, how it's been configured, the production rates, how it's been made, the things required for it to use and produce, produce the generator. This is very important because many people are still asking questions about how this production is being carried out. And that is why I decided to carry this video to show you and demonstrate the different methods you will need in designing and producing free energy generator. For instance, we see this machine here. This is the meter. This is the meter that reads the voltage rate. As you can see here, uh, the meter is already here. We will talk about the meter that shows the voltage rate, how the voltage moves. In this place you see here, this is the generator that generates the current. It is the board that does the current generator. Right here is the labet. This is the labet of the generator that indicates a different form of voltage, the PRP, and everything you need. Then here is the bed. This is the bed. This one is the bed that link it to the flywheel. And what you see here is a flywheel. The flywheel enables the generator to turn. Then these are the ions that hold the generator. These ones are the ions. As you can see, these are the ions. Why this one is the cable. The cable of the generator can keep uh, the cable, the generator's cable. Now, when we go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and explain further. Uh, this this is the generator on the run now, it's steaming, it's steaming now, as you can see, it's steaming. So, if you see this is the RPM, this is, let me show here, yeah, this is the RPM, 150, 1500 per minute as hard it runs. This is 8 kW, as kilowatts, and this is the excitement. This one shows the, the labels of the generator. The intakes, the power, and others. Then, if you go further, you know, you can see it running. In this place, this is the flywheel, which I explained earlier. This is the flywheel, the flywheel that joins the bed. It joins the bed, this bed here, the flywheel that will join it. This is what enables the generator to turn. The number to turn the flywheel joined the generator to the electric motor, so that's why you see it so big here, very big. This is the iron that joined with this electric flywheel here to this motor. So this is one of the things you have to learn to know that if you want to join the generator to the electric motor, you must have a flywheel and a bed. This is the bed. And if you go further now. See, it's in the motion now, it's turning now. And it's now. If you go further now, you see this is this is the electric motor. And this is the electric motor. This is the electric motor now. The electric motor is the duty of is just to turn as it rotates. The generator will bring out light. This is the electric motor, this is the electric motor power source, and this is the electric motor and this is how it works. Now if you go for that the electric motor is on the run now. As you can see it's turning in a very high speed and it's as it's turning now this cable now this cable is connected to the power source on the power source while this one also is connected to the power source. Now we are going to set these two things to join together to generate light. Let's continue to wash now as you can see the, this is the this is the this is the, the, the lab bed for the retro motor. You can see the RPM 2800, and you can see the retro issue as issue, the day of manufacturing, and everything about the generator. 
of the electric motor. So this is also what you have to know about the electric motor. Now, as you can see, it's only one. And it's the one phase electric motor, one phase. So you can see it's a one phase system. Then we, we are still going on, so going on. Now this is this this the displays now we have you can see in this place now mm -hmm. if you continue to see it now this one is going to be plugged it's going to be plugged to the to the source where the electric uh, motor have a power source this is the power this is the power indicator that indicates the rate at which the power runs this is the power indicator uh, if you can see the power indicator now this is if you can see now this area we are going to join we're going to join this this uh, this cable we're going to be joined to this one as already seen now it's being joined that is the power source electric motor and the electric and the generator is now joined together and you see you can see it's still producing the voltage you see on ongoing and you see now the ratio of the pressure grow as you can see is on there's when the two things are joined together you can see that it's still running there's no problem it doesn't affect it the, the running is still going as you can see it's ongoing it does not affect it it's all it's still turning as you tell you see the generator still work this is joint this highest joint this joint this is the joint aspect you continue to wash now continue to wash you can see the you can see here this one is for the motor, this one is for the trim motor. The two of them are going are now going to be joined together as you can see. Watch and see. See it here is joined. As you can see, it's the join now. The two the cable here and the cable there. This this cable goes from the trim motor and this cable goes from the motor. And the two of them have been joined together. You can see. See the trace here, see the trace here. And the flyway is still going on, it does not affect it. It's still working perfectly, it still does not affect the production. And this also is still running, it's still producing, it does not affect it. And it's to tell you that the production is still working the, without even without the connection to the electric power, it's still working. So this is how the system works. And many of us who don't we don't believe that there's a free energy. I think with this explanation, you still believe you will get convinced that this uh, free energy generator is way is working. It's not fake. As many believe that it is fake, some don't believe. Some say it is not uh, realistic. I want to tell you, it's realistic. It's real. It's not something fake about it. If with this explanation, with this production, you will see the value that this we are talking is not fake. It's what is real. Is what you can use. We are trying to see how we can cut down the electricity bill, how you can reduce the rate at which you spend in power generation, reduce the space of diesel, and also to make the atmosphere free of smoke and also other things that also affected the earth because we are talking about green energy. Thank you very much. Awesome.